Hey everybody, this is Julie with ReadySitStamp.com and today we're going to be making a card with the Three Birds on Parade Cricut cartridge. I haven't used this one in a really long time. I'm on page 49 and I've cut my bird out here at three inches and all the little accessories um, or the little layers, I mean, that goes with it. So one thing I did find out, so here's my little bird. Isn't that too cute? And when I cut out this green part here, it kept cutting the paper and I cut it out three separate times and it kept tearing where the little stems are. I don't know if this is getting a good picture of that or not. Let me see if I can, there we go. So it kept tearing where these little stems are. So um, what I finally did was cut another, you can see this black one here. I cut another one of these pieces out in green because the black one cut out fine and I didn't see anything tear on it so I mean it looks bad here because I cut the background of it so it wouldn't show through but so I just cut another one of these and then cut the little flowers off of it and that's what you see here is I just cut it and then stuck it on there and then that worked good so it looks like cute little stems so there's that and my card base here is from birthday bash and I cut it out at five inches. I can't remember which page this was from because I just had this on my gypsy. And these cute little like rhinestone-like things are from Stamp Pendus. And I think I got them from Joann's or Michael's quite a while ago. But I love them because they're super fun to work with. And they're flat, which is really cool because then when you want to mail something, you know, it's not bulky. So there's that. So let's get started here. This is the top layer, and isn't this the coolest pattern? This is a new Cuddlebug folder, and it's called Charles, and I love it. Here's a new Cuddlebug folder, and they have the names on them now, so I don't have to try to remember what the names are. Isn't that cool? And then it has a little bit of sticky here on the back of this, so you can do this pattern on the bottom of your card if you wanted to. I didn't do it on this one, but isn't that too cool? So then it comes a little sticky that you can do it there. So anyway, I went to Joann's today and this is what I got. I got a couple other things I'm gonna show you guys at the end here too. So I'm just gonna use some of my ATG tape on the back of this here. If it, if it wants to come off here. Okay, so use a little bit here or maybe a lot of it. And the good, good well, get well soon. I almost said good well soon. I'm thinking of the goodwill, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so this is from Encouraging Thoughts from Cards TV Stamps. And I love this because it has so many great sayings and just thought this was perfect. So it says get well soon. So here's my get well card. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that in the center here. So there's that. Scooch that over just a touch. Okay. So there's that, and now I'm going to use my little circle 3D mounting foams here, add a couple of these to the back of this. I am going to be mailing this, so um, I may end up paying a little bit more because I'm putting on 3D, but usually it's like 20 cents more, so for me to make a card a little extra cute, I don't mind doing that. So kind of up to you guys what you want to do, but you do usually pay a little bit more postage. I just noticed I probably should have put one behind here too. So let's see if I can get that on here without... Oh, that's pretty good. Kind of hides in there. I was afraid you might see it, but I think it hides it pretty well. Okay, so there's that. Isn't that too cute? So that's my finished card. I hope you guys enjoy it. But before we go, I did want to show you a couple things. So I showed you my little cuddle bug, which I love. And I don't know if you guys know this or not, but someone mentioned to me and said, if you want, I know Michaels doesn't accept the half off or 40% off coupons on the Cricut mats, but my Joann's does. And I thought for sure they were mistaken, but I read the fine print and didn't see that it didn't exclude it. So anyway, I, um, I went in and I tried it and I got my mat half off. I got my mat for like $6.50, which is so great. So um, this is some David Tutera paper. And I love this because it just, you know, Father's Day is right around the corner. And it just kind of reminded me of some really, or if you guys have a wedding or anything like that. But I love, what's the name of these? They're called, um, hmm, Let's see if I can get the name of what these are called so I can... 
Let's see, does it say? Hmm, am I missing this? I don't know. It just says 12A2A6, but I don't really see the name of this. I must be missing this somehow, but anyway, so this is kind of like, a, it reminds me of like a wedding or maybe a Father's Day card, but I just thought these were so cool. So anyway, I picked them up and these were $2.39 for all of these. So you get white, black, and this almost looks like it's, it's a shimmery black. I don't know if I can, if the camera's going to pick it up, but it's like little bit of shimmer to it. It's almost like a dark gray rather than a solid black because this is a, uh, I can't show you the solid black because I stuck it on there but anyway it looks to me like a dark gray so let's just say that and then here's the white and then the silver which I love. I think it's beautiful and so my mom's 60th birthday is right around the corner so I am going to be do, doing this in stages. I'm going to be doing one of those explosion box for my mom for her 60th birthday. But I fell in love with this paper. And her colors that I'm going to do for her party is going to be um, a really pretty, kind of like the ocean colors where it's a yellow and then a turquoise color. I've seen a lot of kind of beachy themed parties like that. So anyway, this paper, the white ginger, and it has foil in it as well. I just thought it was so pretty and I think it's gonna go really great for the explosion box that I'm gonna make. So anyway, I just wanted to kind of flip through this really quick and show you guys this because I love the colors and I think it's gonna be gorgeous. So I can't wait to get started. And again, I'm, I'll do that in stages because that's, I still haven't quite figured out how to edit my videos together. So anyway, that's it, you guys. Just wanted to show you all those little goodies and then my cute little get well card. Hope you guys have a really great day. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.